Do you want to increase the speed of your internet connection in your RV? Well, we're going to show you an easy way to do so. Hey guys, it's Izzy from Endless RVing, the channel that brings you the best in RV DIYs, product reviews, RV tours, and so much more. If you're new to the channel, we invite you to subscribe below and make sure you hit the notification bell. And if you're back for another video, we thank you for joining us. All right guys, so we are rooftop. If you've been following us, you know we've done numerous videos on our internet connection. And like I said in videos prior, the technology is always changing, right? So we are always looking for different ways to improve our connection, to make our connection easier. And I stumbled across some information online and uh, we're gonna actually install an external antenna that I think is gonna make our life a little easier, probably 95% of the time. So just a quick breakdown of our current internet setup. We have a uh, 4G LTE modem and then we have an external antenna that we use when the signal's weak, right? We're currently using the wiring uh, directional antenna. The advantage of that is that that's probably the most powerful setup you can get on an antenna, right? Because it's up high, it's a uh, yaggy angled directional antenna. However, here's a disadvantage, right? When we are going down the road, we can't have that antenna up because it's too high. Obviously for clearance, we can't have that. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna still keep that wiring antenna if we go somewhere where the signal's really bad. But what I believe we can do is we're gonna flush mount an antenna to the roof, okay? And what that's gonna allow us to do is to always have that antenna up. We're gonna move the router to the front cabinet where it's always plugged in. And I believe that we are gonna be able to get a good signal probably the majority of the time without having to put that wiring antenna up. What is the flush mount antenna we're using? We're gonna be using the ProxyCast antenna. It's the model number is ANT500201. Got good reviews on Amazon. These are used a lot in uh, public safety, uh, police, fire, EMS, they use these antennas. Uh, it's $179 on Amazon. We will link it below. And why I like it, right? Is a couple of reasons. A, you can see how small the profile is. It's about five inches going across. It's like one and a half inches high. Now this has dual antennas in here, omnidirectional antennas, meaning they catch signal from all around. You don't point them. Advantage, it will work all the time. The disadvantage is not gonna be as powerful uh, de decibel gain as that dual Yagi antenna. It has a GPS input, which we won't be using. And then it has dual uh, SMA connections. These will run through the roof down to our cabinet and then we'll connect these to the back of our router so essentially this will be the antenna on our roof for our router all right so how are we going to mount this uh, just so basically how it goes mounted right there is a dual 3m tape on here okay there's a rubber seal there's also a bolt with washer uh, this is one and a quarter inch uh, drilling hole that's the hole diameter to mount this how I plan on mounting this, okay, is that over here, there is a plate for uh, satellite prep, okay? This plate, when you take it off, there should be conduit with uh, some wire running through it. So what I'm gonna do is, this cabling is 16 inches long, 16 feet long, sorry. I am gonna fish that through the conduit. That conduit empties out into the front cabinet, and then the router is gonna sit in the front cabinet. I don't know how this is gonna go. I think it's gonna go well, but we're gonna take you through the full installation. All right, so step number one, what I'm gonna do is, and you know, if you want more details, we're gonna peel up the die core. We actually did a video how to replace your seals. We'll link that above. Gonna peel up the die core, take this plate off, and see what's the actual diameter of the hole. All right, guys, so once you take the die core off, there's four screws. Unscrew those four screws. There's a plate, take the plate up. So it looks like they, they drilled a hole underneath, but they ran the roofing right over it. So what I did with uh, just a regular utility knife, cut that, okay? You're gonna see in there this conduit, right? And it's the same green and white wire that's in the cabinet. So thankfully, I know that that's going to the cabinet. So what I plan on doing is, first I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run this uh, wire fishing tool, right? This is what um, electricians use. Basically, you run this through uh, areas to uh, run wiring to walls, whatever, okay? I'm gonna run this through this conduit. Make sure it comes out in the front cabinet. If it does, then I know I'm good to go. What I'm gonna do after that, I'm gonna mount the plate again, right? I'm gonna drill my one and quarter inch hole into the plate, and then I'm gonna mount the antenna on top and run all the wiring through there, all right? So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start fishing. All right, guys, so just a little secret for fishing this, right? So you got the uh, fishing tool, and then you're just gonna black tape the cable around. 
We're gonna do one cable at a time because I think it's gonna be a little easier that way. Just put a little bit of like lithium grease to help it lubricate going down. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fish this through. MJ's gonna go below and uh, when she sees it coming through, she's gonna pull the wire through and then we're gonna do it again until we get uh, all the wires through. All right, we got the wires run through relatively easy. So just a little audible here, right? Uh, I drilled out that hole on the plate. We are not gonna use the plate because it wouldn't flush mount, right? It's, it's actually gonna be a lot easier if I just use this and, uh, you know, die core and mount it out that way. It's gonna fit a lot better. This comes with two-sided foam tape 3M. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean all this up here with uh, the um, prep all get it nice and then just nice bead of die core around stick it down i should be good to go uh it's going to take probably two minutes and we'll come back when it's finally mounted all right guys so we got everything cleaned up here as you can see it's nice and clean all right so final step we are going to uh, peel the 3m two-sided tape all right now uh, just keep in mind guys okay this has a, a nice rubber seal around it i am going to put a bead of die core going right around the edge here okay nice bead of die core going around the edge and then when i put it on and squeeze it out it's going to goo out the sides and it should give a nice seal okay this is die core self-leveling i'm going to flip this baby over all right bring the wires down get this set up squeeze this down okay and now this stuff is coming out the edges don't worry about any of this stuff here, okay? Because what'll happen is we'll be able to clean that with the prep all. Nice seal there. And then what I'm gonna do is just a final, I'm gonna run a final bead right around. self level remember, you put it on top, it's gonna level itself out. Doesn't have to be perfect. It will do its own work and level itself out. All right, guys, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this run overnight. We'll come back tomorrow, show you what this looks like tomorrow, show you what the setup looks inside, and then we're gonna do some speed test, okay? Cool. All right, we are back inside, okay? So just the finishing touches on this, uh, we like everything to look clean. So the hole that had the conduit actually had a cover from the factory. Uh, I drilled out a one inch hole. Okay, I'm gonna go get a rubber grommet. I don't have it for the video, but I'll go pick one out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the cables through this, okay, and then put this cover back on so it looks real clean and like, you know, a nice professional finish. All right, so plate is going back on, okay. And then what we're gonna do is we are gonna screw it back on. I'm gonna tidy up all the cables and then show you what the final product looks like. All right, guys, we're all finished up. Everything is tidied up inside. The two cables are going into our uh, mobile router. It's gonna work awesome. What this is gonna allow us, again, like we said, guys, is that when we get to a place that we don't need to put that big wiring up, it has good signal, we can just park and like, we're good. You know, we, have, we don't have to go through that setup. We will still keep the wiring on board for places that have really poor signal. I actually ran tests, right? I ran tests three ways. I ran with um, the stock antennas, the two uh, 5 dB antennas that it comes with. I ran a test with the wiring antenna directional, and then I ran a test with the proxy cast, okay? Now, mind you, we are in an area uh, heavily wooded, hilly. We have one bar of Verizon and I will post you'll see up I'll show the results uh, kind of over my shoulder here for each one So I hope you enjoyed this video guys again We'll put the links below to our Amazon affiliate account if you know anybody that's looking to improve their uh, Cellular connection on their RV their internet connection feel free to share this video with them Also our other videos that we've done. This is now our fourth video to the left of me I'm gonna put our RV uh, DIY playlist as well as our RV essential upgrades and for myself and MJ We thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the road